Well, well, well. Would you looky here? Okay, I'm sorry. Don't mind me awkwardly scooting more in frame. But anyway, would you looky here? Kamzat Chumayev pulling out of the fight for a third time. I think every single time the fight didn't happen has been Kamzat Chumayev. And I understand the man got COVID-19. Man. Man. You know, um... I mean, even Cody Garbrandt, after getting COVID-19, was ready to take a fight again against um, Davidson Figueredo. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just weird, you know, especially after seeing his whole persona of him being this guy who's going to take fights on short notice. Mind you, they're not against the best guys in the world. But he's taking fights on short notice. He'll fight anybody at any time, and it doesn't matter who it is. And then when Kevin Holland calls him out to fight him, uh, you know, at the last event of the year, oh, well, he's nowhere to be seen, you know? But that's supposed to be his shit. That's supposed to be his shit. That's supposed to be Kamsa Jemaya's shit. Kamsa Jemaya's supposed to be the guy who takes the fights on short notice. And he didn't do that. You know, it, it's really weird. I mean, it's probably, it's now more of a business side. You know, it's like, all right, well, now, but it, it's weird business, though. Because it's like now, okay, we're focused on getting a championship fight. We can't risk losing, you know, a fight leading up to this because now I, if I lose to Kevin Holland before I fight Leon Edwards, it look, doesn't look good. And that means that he's worried about losing so much that he denied a fight from Kevin Holland because he wanted to keep this good opportunity that would pretty much mean a championship fight for him. But you should have so much confidence that you aren't worried about losing to someone like Kevin Holland. You shouldn't worry about losing this opportunity because you're not going to lose. You know, that, at that moment, that sort of gave me a red flag for Kamzat Chimaev uh, a little bit. But maybe that's just his managers. They wouldn't let him. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's, I do genuinely believe Kamzat is that way. But it, it says to me, at least his managers, very, at the very least, they have way more. Say Ali, Abdella, Ali, Ali Abdelaziz, the little fucking bitch. I fucking hate Ali. I'm sorry. I hate Ali Abdelaziz, okay? He's just, I hate him. I don't even hate, um, he was the Hudo's coach. Like, it's so obvious, like, they're just being cringe on purpose. He's just talking shit. But Ali Abdelaziz, oh boy, he's one of those where you just want to smack the shit out the back of his bald ass head. You know what I mean? Uh, but I probably wouldn't want to do that because then he'd blow up my fucking house with his terrorist friends. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyway, come to Jemaya pulled out the fight. And this is a red flag to me because I feel like he should still fight through this and this could be his managers again not wanting to risk it. It's either it's either one of two things. His managers have way more say in who he fights than he does. But I mean, the man could just leave them and, and go to another fucking gym if he wants to. He doesn't have to stay with them. But we know his manager isn't even Ali Abdelaziz. Now I look stupid. Who the fuck is his manager? I don't even know who his manager is. I thought it was. I was low-key being racist because he's a Dagestani, so I thought his manager was Ali. I don't know who his manager is, but for some reason, he doesn't leave them for other managers or whatever. I don't know what's going on. But they, it's either they're more scared for Kamzat than Kamzat is, and they have more, more say in who he fights than he does, or Kamzat really is really worried that he's going to lose to Leon. Now, maybe... Now, either way it goes, whoever feels that way, speculating aside, where does that worry come from? Well, I, I would think the lingering effect, because he said he has lingering effects of COVID-19, which would probably be respiratory, because people always describe having a shortness of breath after you know getting COVID-19. It's hard for them to breathe. Their lungs aren't as good as they used to be, right? So, if you guys remember, which you probably don't, because I got a lot of new viewers here, well, I don't say a lot, but I got some new new viewers of, of the of the 40 of you that are watching this, you know. You know, I, I got like five that five of them that are that are maybe new. But anyway, um not even that. Kamzat Chumayev can only breathe out one of his nostrils. And I'm sorry, I just drank some pop. I shouldn't have done that. And and the one fight where he landed that uppercut, I say it's a lucky uppercut, but Maybe he timed a guy before he even moved. You know what I mean? I guess it's possible. <laughs> I guess the man has ultra instinct or fucking Katakuri's observation hockey. But he landed that uppercut knocked dude out on the counter punch. And 
in that fight, he was actually tired. And I think that, that knockout landed in round two or three, maybe? Not sure. But he was tired up to that point, like breathing heavy. And that's because he was going against a Sambo guy and he couldn't just take him down. That's a guy who could snuff his takedowns. And this is why I said he's going to struggle in the welterweight away division because you have Kamaru Usman, Colby Covington. I mean, do you even want to take down Damian Maya? Do you want to take that man down? Jorge Mazadal has some good takedown defense. Kamaru Usman was struggling to take him down. And when you're tired against these guys... You cannot be tired against Jorge Masvidal. You can't be tired against Kobe. You can't be tired against Kamaru. Because they're going to see blood and they're going to turn it up on you. You know what I mean? Well, Kamaru's going to fucking hug you and step on your feet. But still, you don't want to be tired against Kamaru because Kamaru's not going to be tired. And I said he was going to struggle in this division because he had... He, when you can snuff his takedowns, he gets tired really quickly because he can only breathe out one nostril. So if he's having respiratory problems because of COVID, that makes his br already bad breathing problem even worse. So, I don't know if this guy is ever going to really be able to compete at the top level in the UFC, d depending on how long this uh, COVID has effects on him. I don't know if he's ever going to be able to, because how long will these effects linger? That would take some simple research on my part just to figure that out. But So, maybe I shouldn't say he won't ever be able to, but it'll be a long time, man. Because if he's still having lingering effects, it's, it's going to be here for a while, you know, those effects. So, it's not looking good for Kamzat, man. And interestingly enough, Leon Edwards was called out by Stephen Thompson Wonderboy. I would love to see that fight. I do not think Leon Edwards is going to take that fight, though. Um, he already rejected Stephen Thompson. But it, it'd be weird. You get more out of fighting Stephen Thompson Wonderboy than you do out of fighting Kamzat Chemaev. And the only reason that you were about to get cut and you were forced to fight Kamzat Chemaev was because you rejected Stephen Thompson Wonderboy. So, just take the Stephen Thompson goddamn Wonderboy fight before you get cut again, bro. Uh, yeah, I don't know who wins that fight. I love Steven Thompson. He's a top five striker of all time I don't know enough about Leon Edwards, but if he doesn't have any grappling I I think the safe bet is to say Steven Thompson just pieces him up. You know what I mean? Because Steven Thompson striking is mwah, Chef's kiss, right? Excellent, but we'll have to see. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comments below. Peace